Well, how do there, chums? Today, chums, I'm going to be going up against Pirate Freighter after Pirate Freighter, the big dreadnoughts, because occasionally I get S-Class modules from them, but I can't really understand as to why I'm getting S-Class modules sometimes, but not all the time. When I say S-Class modules, I'm on about for my freighter. And when I'm on about for my freighter, I'm on about up here. This sort of technology is up here. Normally you get these from running derelict freighters, which can be a little bit boring. So if you can get it from destroying Sentinel-class dreadnoughts, that's going to be a far more fun way to get them. Anyway, I reconvene with you once I've managed to get my first Sentinel Dreadnought encounter. Okay, so here we go, my first Sentinel encounter. Now, what people have told me is take out the engines so this big guy over here can't get away. So you need to go to the rear of the thing. It's hard to tell what the frickin' front is and what the back is. Normally, you come in at the back. All right, well, let's fly on in anyway. Yeah, that's not the weapon I want to use. I want to use my infra knife. Well, where's the frickin' engines on this dang blasted beastie? Okay, I guess I was at the back of the thing already. All right, let's fly around this way then. You can see the engines for looking, people. There we go. And we take out the engines just so it can't get away. Boom, 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 and one more. Okay, now that it can't get away, what people have told me to do is attack the civilian ship. Yeah, right, let's do that then. Now they said that you're going to lose a lot of reputational points for doing this. Whoa, Nelly. Lovely, lovely. Hiya! Meow. Fly on over this way. Let's take out its gun turrets. Zoom. Fun times! The civilian ship sort of has to lose this battle. Let's go knock all the balls out on this side then, shall we? Spin this around it. I think its shields are down now on this one. Let's just shoot the living shite out of it. Oh, well, there's one ball there that I missed. Okay. Well, there's a couple, actually. There's that. Go to that side. Turn it around. There's loads of containers left. Wait. There you go, that just said civilian freighter destroyed. So now you turn your attention to the pirate vessel, wherever it's gone. Alright. Where are you, pirate vessel? Where are there? Is that it? No. There it is, right there. Okay, now I'll turn your attention to this guy. Take out the cannons or the shields. Either or, it doesn't really matter. You just make it surrender. We'll take out the shields, I think. Oh no, we'll take out the cannons. Boom. Happy chow. Take that, cannon of evil. Go 
Kapow! Am I actually shooting a cannon there? No, I don't think I was. Now I am. Boom! I'll do some damage as we fly over. Last big cannon. Done. It should surrender now. Right. Is it going to get... There we go. S-Class Fleet Mining Unit. So that does seem to work, people. Sweet. So that worked. Let's have a quick look at it. There it is. We got that there. And we can install that over on our old freighter. Lovely jubbly. Sweet. So that does work. But what I'm thinking is maybe do things a bit more ambiently. So just as I'm doing my warp jumps, if I encounter one of these, then fine. I'm going to get freighter technology. I think if I did these repeatedly over and over again, I'm probably going to get a little bit tired of doing this. And I don't really want to get tired of doing this. So I might mix it up a bit, maybe do some of these, then maybe do a little bit of, you know, the whole bit of jumping around doing a bit more skullduggery, like doing the, the freighter runs and that. Yeah, so it does work, people. It does work. Anyway, I need to talk to the commander up here and see if they can offer me any other booty. Hello there, mate. Yes. What sort of class dreadnought is it? Oh, it's a C-class. All right. I will have the loot instead then, my friend, please. And that's giving me a shed load of units. Fantastamondo. All right. Golio. That'll do me then. And off we go. And back to my shippity ship. So there we go, people. It does seem to work. You have to let the the civilian freighter lose its battle. You can help out with shooting it if you want. That seems to work for me. I mean, you can blow all of this up as well if you really want to. Now that we've negotiated terms. There we go. Fly on over this way. Where's the trenches gone? Here's the trenches here. I'm going to destroy it just for fun. I'm going to destroy it for fun, people. But that seems to work. The civilian freighter has to go first. Papa Chow! Take like that! Oh, I like those breaky noises, I guess. Kaboom! Oh, you're done. Use the force, Luke. Boom! Ha 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 ha! Zoom. Whoa, I overshot the trench. We're in. No, we're not. Now we are. Zoom. Let's level out. There we go. Haven't had my morning tea, people. My voice is a bit coarse. Did we get them all? I think we did. <clears throat> I think it's about to go, people. I think it's about to go. There we go. It's done. Kablooey. Goodbye, freighter. There we are, people. So that's how you can get your S-Class modules from blowing up freighters. I mean, you don't have to blow that one up. That was just extra additional fun. I guess. 
Awesome. So yes, you need to find yourself pirate systems in space. Now, for me to get another Dreadnought encounter after that one, I have to do five warp jumps to trigger the next one. Thank you to everybody inside of the comments that's been sort of giving me the actual spec for all of this sort of stuff. So you have to find your... Well, you don't have to do pirate jumps. You just do five warp jumps, but just make sure the fifth one has got a little pirate icon like that one had. Okay, jumps. So I've done four warp jumps. This is going to be my fifth warp jump. Let's see if this actually works. Here we go. Right out. Well, that was my fifth jump. And uh, no. No parity fleet for me. Okay. One second. Let's just do a sixth one, just in case I miscounted. One sec. Let's have a look. See, let's see if we find another piratey system, people. I wish that if you had defeated a pirate ship, you get given like another sort of scanner where you can seek out pirate systems. Or if you've got like a solar ship, maybe they lock onto pirate systems as a default in their scanner setup because it can be a right pain. Oh, there you go. There's one there. Right. Here we go. Let's see how we get on now. OK, well, this is this is my sick one. You know, even if I miscounted, I'm not going to miscount twice, am I? Well, there we go. So it for me it doesn't it doesn't spawn in every five times. Now what I was told originally is you have to play for about three hours, then do something like three warp jumps, and then it appears. But yeah, I, I'm not too sure on the exact trigger for pirate fleet encounters. I mean I've had two in a row once before, so I really don't understand the logic behind it. There's another one. Let's let's do one more. OK, well, I've just done another jump and here we go. We've got our pirate fleet. OK, right. So the actual engines are where the most amount of cannons are. It should always spawn you in at the back. So what I did last time was a bit cack. So let's see if we can do it a little bit better this time. And let's just see if we can confirm the methodologies. So here we go. Boom. Take out all the engines. Right, warp has been disabled. That's the message you want to see on the screen. And then you look at what it's targeting, which is a sprayer over here, Dreadnought class, and help destroy it. Now, you sometimes you can get all of its storage containers. Look, there's little boxes along the side here. Let's see if we can take those out. No, oh, it's still got its shields up. All right. Still not through its shields. Still not through its shields. Ah! Take that, freighter! Well, they're not blowing up, are they? Oh, there we go. Apparently that blew up, but... You do get quite a lot of goods doing this, anyway. Take out that. Spin it around. Oh, did we get all of them? I think we did. Let's do this side, then. Yes! Civilian shields are down. Could do this at a bit of a distance if I wanted to, then. Right, now last time I lost sight of my pirate vessel, didn't I? Because I was too busy doing other stuff. And we'll know it's behind me right now, because look, it's decimating this freighter. Let's fly on over this and turn it around so we can see both vessels in one view. Yeah, there we go. And hopefully we can blow up this giant freighter. Unleash hell on the dang thing! Kaboom! You can see all the missiles plunging into the side of it there. Civilian and freighter destroyed. Sweet. Now we can go and take on out this one over here. Its shields are still up though, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, so we're going to have to get in through the shields. Still not through the shields. I am now. Kaboom! 
Kaboom! Take that! I think I'm doing a lot better this time, people. This is a lot tidier, isn't it? Less messing around. Take out the last of the cannons. And when it, re when it surrenders, we should... I need to recharge my shields. Get back. Have I missed one? Dang it, I was just tapping myself on the back to say, well, job well done, I missed a cannon. There we go. Now it should surrender. There you go. Defeated. Let's see if we get the S-Class module now. Yes, we did. That seems to work, people. Okay, right, yeah. And let's have a look at the, what we got. We got another one of these. Sweet. Okay, well, we know now we don't need to really destroy anything else. We're not going to get given anything else that's amazing. I mean, we could go aboard and we could get ourselves a load of units if we really wanted to, but I think that's about good. I think we've tried and tested the methods. The only thing that we haven't really managed to establish is the amount of warp jumps. Now, when I was doing my warp jumps, admittedly, I jumped to some normal systems. Maybe you have to jump to five pirate systems and in that i did jump to five pirate systems and it was the fifth pirate system i jumped to so there we go i think we might have established something there people i think that's probably the way to do it anyway i'm going to fly into this pirate system you know, the station jump out just to create an auto save but there we go people thank you very much for everybody that sounded up inside of my comments to let me know what i needed to try it seems to be that the civilian freighter needs to die and be taken out before you get your S-Class module. It seems that you get rewarded better if you kind of fail than if you actually pass, which is pretty weird. I don't think Hello Games intended it that way, but there we go. That's how it works. <laughs> that explains why I've only got it every now and again and not a constant. But there we go. Now we've worked out the triggers. Hopefully we can get it more frequently. Till next time, people. Salute Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.